Hey everyone, Gaming Ghost on Video back with uh, kind of the same video as the previous one because um, the other one took almost the entire day just to upload, so I'm going to try to uh, lower the resolution from uh, 4K to 720. So I decided to do a, a retake of the VHS update of what I uploaded a couple days ago. Um, if you didn't already see it before, I went to Sabres on Sunday or Monday, I believe. There was a, everything was 50% 50, 50 off, so I, uh, picked the VHS shelf dry. <clears throat> so I was able to, uh, get some, uh, VHS from over there. So, um, this is probably the most I got. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight like 13 of them. I think that's all of them. And I also got another one, which was um, Forrest Gump, but uh, I'm not going to show that. I got like two copies now. <laughs> but um, the first three we're going to look at are, are non-Disney releases. One's from MGM, one's from 20th Century Fox, and one's from Paramount. So let's all begin. Um, the first one is a Paramount release. Um, this is Rugrats Go Wild. Um, Rugrats Go Wild, in my opinion, is the worst of the uh, trilogy. I mean, it's the weakest in the trilogy, says many, and I agree tenfold. Um, it's not the worst movie ever. The animation's fantastic. It's in um, it's in a very widescreen aspect ratio. As a result, this is pan and scan, similar to the Black Cauldron's VHS release. Yeah, let's see if I can make this not as bright. Here we go, much better. I mean, it's kind of a guilty pleasure, and the, uh, if you want to watch it in its original aspect ratio, you can just get the DVD, but you have to, you have to have the 4x3 version on the VHS. And, of course, the tape is orange, as we expect from Paramount. It's weird if I close it up to the camera. It's kind of weird. Okay, um, so here's the label. As we expect from Paramount releases. The Weekend Year Code. You can barely see it. Well, it's right there on the light. The 46th week of 2003 and the 11th week of 1999. So yeah, this is a recycled tape. Um, I'll put you right here for now. Like the next one's from Fox. Um, Ice Age. Um, Ice Age was, of course, that spawn of a... Movie series that we all know that just get a boatload of money almost every year it comes out. Well, not every year, but almost every year. <laughs> you you get the gist, but I still think the first one's a very solid film in its own right. Let's give it a hard climb, shall I? Well, Paramount's been doing for quite a bit. Let's see if I can move my camera a little. Ah, much better, much better. It comes with the uh, animated short. Scratch missing it. Adventure, which premieres before the movie begins. As typical with Fox releases, it came with ink labels. Well, in the early 2000s, um, importantly enough. Well, it's not even a word. <laughs> And, um, there is some print dates on here. Let's see. Um, September 22nd, 2002. And August 17th, 2001. So, yeah, this is a definite recycled tape. So, yeah, um, there's also some, uh, inserts in here, too. So, let's take a look at those. Sorry about that, someone uh, texting me. It's fine. So there's a little uh, activity bug of the sort. featuring some coloring books and little games. With all the uh, all the sponsors that Ice Age has uh, gotten. When it was released. You know, with um, food companies and all that junk. Some deals on other products. And the deal with M. NHL. And there's this little uh, pamphlet here of some releases from Fox. And 
and these are part of the uh, Fox um, family feature um, line, including Don Bluth's films. Um, I believe starting in, in the 2000s, 20th Century Fox had um, the rights for some of Don Bluth's films, most notably um, Toro Central Park and Thumbelina, those two films, since they were originally under the supervision of Warner Brothers, since they distributed the films onto home video up until, again, the 2000s. <clears throat> so there's Ice Age. And the last non-Disney release I have here, The Wizard of Oz. Um, this is the uh, 1996 release with uh, THX technology um, for the superior sound and, techno and superior picture. This was around the time when NGA and United Artists were still under the MGM UA banner. With the help of Turner, as you may know. Um, if you don't know, um, Warner Brothers, of course, now owns the uh, distribution rights of MGM's um, pre-1985 um, feature films. And as a result... Um, most of the films from NGM are released by Warner Brothers, most notably, um, Danger and Wet. And with typical MGM UA releases, it has a, a dark sticker label. The print date on here is June 29th, 1996. So now it's... Do the all the Disney releases I have again? I have like ten of them. Jesus, this one um it's quite adorable. It comes in a small clamshell. Mighty Ducks the movie, the first Face Off. This is based off the uh, this is based off the animated series that premiered in the mid to late nineties. Mighty Ducks. It's not a good show, but I had to get this because of how adorable the clamshell is. It's very small compared to actual an actual like VHS clamshell. Like compare this to Latin. Yeah, it's um much much more much more slimmer than a typical VHS clamshell at the time. It's not that long of a movie too. It's only sixty eight six minutes. Here's the tape with the dark sticker label. It was printed on April 1st, 1997. Alright, let's actually continue with the actual normal clamshells. Um, Bambi, the original video release in America. Um, this was released all the way back in 1989. Um, break, it broke all the previous records set by the VHS of Cinderella. It wasn't the most successful VHS tape of all time. I believe E.T., the extraterrestrial was. That or maybe The Lion King and Titanic. I don't know. Baby's a masterpiece. I wanted to get the original release so I could have another version of it. Since, of course, you all know I own the old Disney masterpiece release, which came with the um, bonus making up special. See, here's the sticker label. Of course, at the time, Betamax was still relevant, so Disney was still making labels to accommodate VHS and Betamax tapes. And this doesn't have a print date, unfortunately. It has some uh, printings on it, but nothing really fascinating of the sort. Alright, the next three are from the Walt Disney Gold Classic Collection. Robin Hood. Of course, you all know Robin Hood, along with some other releases like Dumbo, Sword in the Stone, um, Alice in Wonderland, Ben Oss and Broomsticks. Um, they were all reissued under many names, like the Classics line, the Masterpiece Collection line, and now the Gold Classic Collection line. Nowadays, some of them are still in the vault, but... Oh, well. It does come with an animated short, though. The, the olden days, the cartoon star Mickey Mouse, it's a great short. This is a much later issue, though. Let's see, here's the label. Yeah, this is a much later pressing from March 4th, 2003. Speaking of bending out some broomsticks, here it is. 
Now I have two versions of Ben Austin Broomsticks. The reason I wanted to get this one, because this has the extended 139 minute cut of the film, which is the most complete version. It also contains a little bonus feature. Um, Music Magic, the Sherman Brothers. I believe it's a behind the scenes of how the music was made, because the songs were made by the Sherman Brothers. They've been a big supporter of the Disney family since the 50s, I believe. And this was printed February 14th, 2001. Alright, the last one I have here is Saludos Amigos. Um, this was the debut release of the film on VHS and DVD. It was never released on those formats, except for Laserdisc. And the film was on Laserdisc. As part of the Walt Disney Video Archive collection. It was a line of laser discs that they made. It was a double pack with the three caballeros. But I could be wrong. Um, this is a bit different compared to its original release. There were some scenes of Goofy smoking removed. But uh, if you want to see the original film uncut. Get the DVD Walt and El Grupo. It's a documentary of how Walt Disney and a bunch of his crew went to South America. To get the... Uh, People over there to join the forces of America and don't buy into anything that's happening in World War II. Plus, this is one of their first uh, package features besides Fantasia. This and uh, the Three Caballeros were um, the first two films to be uh, be around South American culture. As you can see, this has a dark sticker label. Ever since I believe the late '90s, Disney has been doing this with their releases. And the print date is March 28th, 2000. And um, I guess we'll continue with the two Masterpiece Collection releases I got. Because I have the three Caballero Steve Masterpiece release. Um, I wanted to get this one because of its better looking artwork compared to the uh, original release from 1987. Mostly because of the back. I mean, it looks very simple, but... At least he actually got some really nice artwork of uh, Donald and the chick that's in the movie. I didn't see the whole movie. I went through like half of it. It's it's good so far. I believe it's on Blu-ray now. Yeah, it is on Blu-ray. It's a... I believe it's a Disney Movie Club exclusive. I don't know. It's been a while since I used the Disney Movie Club. And this is a print date of... March 20th, March 26th, 1996. And we got Pocahontas, released back in February 1996. Nothing really much to add, I just wanted to get this one just to expand my Masterpiece collection. I want to see if I can get all of them um, as much as I can. And it has a print date of February 2nd, 1996. If you don't know, early pressings of the of this VHS has the Walt Disney Classics logo instead of the Masterpiece Collection logo, which is really odd. But later releases starting at the end of December have the Masterpiece Collection logo. Alright, so these are some releases that are under the Walt Disney Video Horror Home Entertainment brand. Although one of them, I might as well get this one out of the way. Because I don't know if you want to count this as a classic release. Um, Fantasia. Now I have like two copies of Fantasia. This one is a different variant. I have the uh, vertical sticker label version. But this one is the ink label version though. This one did have the same inserts though. Nice to have the uh, same um, <laughs> copies of inserts. But yeah, this one it has the uh, ink label version. It's still the original film. November 30th, 1991. And it has a black print date of November 8th, 1991. Alright, next one here is Tarzan. Um, the original VHS from February 2000. I believe it came out on the f February 1st, 2000. Of course, you all know this is the... Uh, Conclusion to the Disney Renaissance. It's a great film. And I like the Phil Collins songs. Screw you. Um, <laughs> no, please. Uh, I, I'm lonely. <laughs> let me let me shut up. <laughs> but it does contain some little bonus features here. As you may see. Um, 
Phil Collins trash in the camp recording session. Um, I believe, judging from uh, what the word trash, you were doing that one song with the monkeys when they were playing with all those musical instruments and all those um, silverware and junk. Um, he also has the Strangers Like Me music video, and of course, it uses THX technology. During the mid to late 90s, Disney was using a lot of THX's um, um, digital tape mastering for their videos and DVDs. Can't say to blame them. They used them for every, almost every single VHS that they releases. Like, um, well, the Pixar film starting with A Bug's Life, Bambi's masterpiece release. I um, mean, most of the masterpiece releases up until 101 Dalmatians in 1999, but they still released, made some of their VHSs, um, and DVDs using THX. I believe starting in 2006, 2007, they stopped using it, but people are still, uh, many films are still using it, judging from the, uh, Logos I saw from history videos on it. I don't know. November 30th, 1999. And lastly, Treasure Planet. Um, yes, still in 2003, Disney was still releasing VHS versions of their films. Again, I owned a VHS of Finding Nemo, which came out back in May. No, it came out in November. Um, Finding Nemo came out earlier. This came out in April 2003 on VHS and DVD. And just like, um, Sodas Amigos, it has a dark sticker label. I'm gonna try my damnness not to remove it. <laughs> just, I'm very tempted to do it, but I don't want to do it to mess up the label. Jesus. And it has the uh, blue flap here, too. And it has a print date of... March 14th, 2003. Um, I gotta get to watch Treasure Planet. Um, unfortunately, it was a big bomb for Disney. It was their biggest box office flop ever, getting, like... It had a budget of $140 million and would have basically grossed around, um... $110. So, they basically lost, like, $70 million as a result. And that's pretty much it in terms of, uh... Overall VHS update. Let's just hope this one uh, doesn't take as long to upload because it's only in 720p or 1080, not 4K. Because dear God, again, it took way too long just to upload all this thing, all this stuff. Jesus. I guess that's pretty much it for the upload. I hope you enjoyed this new and improved VHS update, and um, I hope I'll see you again in another video if I ever get another uh, other VHSs. Till then. Out.